Hello, Virgo. Welcome to your weekly general February 2021 general love read. The week of Valentine's Day, my favorite holiday. So let's bring in some good love for us Virgos. So I'm a Virgo rising. Let's bring in some good love. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment down below. Let me know if it resonates. And remember to check your moon and rising if it does not because these are general reads. But I will also provide a link to the extended world. We'll go further into your person with, and what's going on in their world and what messages, if any, they have for you. I'll provide that link down below in the comment section along with my website as I am now doing personal reads again. Heal and family issues. I am also going live with my sister on Thursday, 7.30 for all the singles out there. Every sign. It'll be our first time collaborating live on YouTube. So I have heal and family issues. I have wedding. And I have romantic feelings. And I have let your friends help you. So... Something could be going on in your family situation right now that is getting in the middle of um, potential love or um, maybe in a commitment that you're already in because the wedding card is coming up. Some of you could be married. Some of you could be already connecting with somebody. Some, some of you, um, this could just mean that you may be taking your relationship to another level. Um, it is a commitment. It's a commitment card. And we have romantic feelings. So you are having romantic feelings towards somebody. So there is somebody on your mind here. So whoever you're thinking about, set the intention that this read is about this person. And we have let your friends help you. So this is like my celebration card. Maybe it's time to get out a little bit, get your mind off things. Ask your friends for some support, assistance in the matter. They might, your friends may know something or see something that you do not, okay? They just have a clearer perspective of what's going on in your situation, okay? But let's see what comes up in tarot for you. What is going on with my Virgos this week? Show me Virgo and show me what their obstacle is. Show me Virgo and show me their obstacle. Please be clear, spirit. Please be clear. The messages be clear for my Virgo. All right. Overall energy. Look at this. Scorpio energy. All right. You could have a Scorpio on your mind. You could have a Scorpio around you. But this is also, you could be ending something or getting over something and you're wanting to move on. Um, there could be some transformation happening. This is really powerful energy, but it definitely is positive energy. Okay. It's movement. It's maybe like the healing family issues thing. Maybe there was some situation going on and this week it's just all about getting over things and moving on um, and growing from them, okay? So if this is regarding love life, maybe you're moving on from somebody or you're moving on from something that upset you and you're deciding to, you know, end that and let's start fresh. That sort of energy, okay? And we have the three of wands here underneath here in reverse. So maybe you're, you were holding or you were waiting for something or holding out for something and... Um, you've just decided to stop holding out for whatever this was. It could be a person. It could be a situation to happen in your favor. It could be anything regarding that. But that, I feel, could be what you're deciding to just cut off and move on from. Okay? Wait in for something. Virgos didn't don't want to wait. We don't wait, right? All right. So here you are. The Six of Wands. Good energy. And the Three of Cups. Okay, so now you're getting, you want a reconciliation, but it's also hanging out with some friends. It's, it's coming up strongly for you. So I have, you're coming in with the energy of the Six of Wands, okay? And this is very good energy to be in. You're pretty balanced. You're, um, you're used to doing things on your own. You've got things in order, but you are in this, in this typical, um, in this deck, you do look a little bit concerned about something like you are where you need to, you need to be. You're pretty balanced. You have everything in order, but you're not completely satisfied. Okay. And why? Because you want this reconciliation. You want, maybe you're bored. Maybe you want to get out. You want to go somewhere. Um, and, or maybe you're just, like I said, tired of waiting and you're ready. Your overall energy here is a Scorpio energy, which is saying, 
you know, I'm done with that. I'm done with this. I'm done whatever cycle past, whatever's been going on. And I want to move forward to something new or I want to move forward with a new chapter in this relationship. Okay. So the obstacle is though, definitely you're considering or you want a relationship. I mean, a reconciliation, but you're getting tired of waiting for it. Okay getting very tired of waiting for it. So what are you thinking about? What should you focus on? Well, whatever you're thinking about is stressing you out, okay? <laughs> this is why you're thinking about ending this, right? You're tired of being stressed out about this situation. It's not worth the energy that you're putting into um, whatever situation this is. It's, um, it's not worth your state of being, your state of mind to stay focused on this that much. This is why maybe going out and getting out of your comfort zone for a bit may help you with this situation and just kind of relying on your friends for support for this, okay? Because you're like right at the end here. You're t I think this is saying, think about also how much energy you have put into this and think about, um, is it worth feeling like this? Have you been, you know, you want to be happier. You're tired of whatever situation that this is for you, what it's been doing and how it's been making you feel. So the past situation here, we have the Knight of Pentacles. Somebody may, may have been moving way too slow for you. And we have what crowns you is this for Ten of Cups relationship. You want, you're focused on a real true commitment, a real true relationship. And you want this um, emotional connection. But something from the past was moving very, very slow and just was taking too long to um, to come in for you, to move, okay? And that's why I keep going back to the death card. You have, you're really contemplating um, whether or not to let go of whatever this is for you or move forward and start something new. And you're really stuck right now. You're stuck on this past person because even though they were moving slow for you, they seemed to you like somebody that could fit the bill. You really thought that this could be the one. You thought that um, there was a lot of love there and they had a lot of qualities that you really felt fit your bill for the Ten of Cups. But because they were moving so slow and they weren't moving at the same pace as you, it often left you feeling very, it still does, leaves you very stressed out. And you're, you're in this energy of, do I, do I keep wanting this reconciliation or do I want to move forward? So let's see what the near future is here. Near future, Seven of Pentacles, opening up that old wound again. Wow. All right. So with the Seven of Pentacles here, I definitely feel like you're still holding on to this past person. There's no doubt. Okay. This Seven of Pentacles is showing me you're scratching, you're opening up that past wound. Um, I feel like I feel like you may grow impatient and you may move towards this rather than wait for them to come to you. I feel as though um, it may not have the outcome that you desire if you try to force this to come to you. Your suggested approach here, the judgment card, uh, making a decision that's for the, your best here, but it's showing you still hold, you can't let, man, you can't let go of this past person. You can't let go of this past person. You want a second chance. You want another try with this person. You really want this reconciliation. But you really need to think right now about your health and what, you know, is this your calling? Is this your true calling? Is this really what you want? Is this, do you really feel like this is destiny for this, your person to, um, to be with this person? In the near future, it shows you, you know, growing impatient and sort of letting this really frustrate you. And I almost feel as though you open up, you open up this past energy 
rather than allowing it to come to you. And because there's this energy of you pushing at the wrong time, maybe you're not getting what the desired results that you want. Okay. It's just this like all or nothing type of attitude I get because you're sitting in the six of wands, right? And then you have the seven of pentacles here. And in this deck, it shows just, you know, she's looking backwards and she's got this feistiness about her and she's like, she's digging at herself. And I always look at those scar, the wound on, on her back is like something from the past just keeps digging at you. And it's like opening the old wound again. It's like, you can't let this go and something... Um, I feel like your impatience or you, you know, you being impatient may cause this to open up an older version of the situation that you do not, that's not for your best benefit. What you should know, the Ten of Pentacles, it's, this is sort of saying focus on you and focus on yourself, focus on your finances and career. Um, your hopes or fears, five of wands. Your hopes is that there's an end to this conflict and you want this 10 of pentacles. But this is telling you that you, you have a lot going on around you right now regarding your money and regarding your stability. And focusing on what's going on in your life around your money and your stability um, is going to take maybe some of this pressure off of you focusing on this past person. Possible outcome here, the page of wands, which is messages, flirty messages coming in. That sounds pretty, pretty awesome, guys. So I'm gonna clarify um, some of these. I get the magician too. So I get the manifestation card here. So really thinking about what you want here really thinking about what you want and really using the laws of um, of manifesting, the laws of the universe here to really focus on and create exactly what you want. You could be connecting with a Gemini. You could be connecting with a Scorpio, um, a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, um, definitely. But I get Scorpio energy here too. I feel as though it's very important for you to focus on your money and your career right now. I really feel like the more you focus on your career and your money, I feel like this is going to make you stand out and um, this energy is what's going to draw your person back towards you. Because you are manifesting messages from this person and you're hoping that there's there could be an end to this conflict. And the outcome, the possible outcome is page of wands, which is messages. And that to me is my, my flirty, you know, hey, how are you? Just checking up on you. Haven't talked to you in a while. Um, what's going on with you? So I feel like um, maybe what you need to know here with this Ten of Pentacles is that maybe you are sitting pretty right now and you really have been working on um, your career and your finances. And um, maybe this person is noticing you. Maybe they do notice you now. Maybe that's how they are watching you or keeping an eye on you. Okay? But the more you stay focused on on looking good like this in, in, in wealth and your money, the more you're drawn closer to this energy of this person messaging you back. Okay. And so this future outcome here of you kind of opening up that old, old wound and you kind of taking control and letting your ego get ahead of you is telling me it's sort of a warning here. Don't let your ego get to you and don't try and force your manifestation. Don't try and force a text. Don't try and force um, communication with this person because it's only going to open up that past behavior, whatever happened in the past. This person wasn't moving fast enough for you. They weren't moving. They weren't committing. They weren't moving in the... They were just moving too slow for you. And they wouldn't commit. And they had their reasons. And this could be anybody. I'm not going to go too deep into that. But this could be reasons regarding... It's different for every person. But if you are trying to manifest and you're trying to work it so this person comes back in and you want a new cycle with this person, then really do not fall trap of trying to force your reality to... Um, Try not to take action, take action and um, make this happen in the physical reality. Do this through manifestation.
create this and stay focused on whatever it is you're doing that's bringing this person um, closer to you. Because there are a lot of romantic feelings between the two of you. I feel like that's a common denominator here, especially with um, what you're feeling still for this person and for that card coming up for you. There is a common denominator here. And that's why you're still attached. That's why this Scorpio energy here is coming up. It's like you feel this deep bond. You see things and feel things deeper. You are connected to this person. You have magician, death, and, and judgment all in one spread. Which is truly like the universe speaking for you. It's really connected to your higher self. It's making a decision based on what you truly believe in what you truly believe is your calling what you want what you know and you're definitely transforming and wanting to change the situation you don't want to go back to the old situation you want to transform this into a newer version a new a new situation and so the message here is to keep on keeping on don't let go of the fact that you want a second chance here okay but keep focusing on what you're doing whatever you're doing whatever successful whatever you're being successful at or whatever is get grabbing your attention or the money you're making and you stay in focus and sort of letting your energy kind of draw away from that is bringing this person closer to you to end this conflict and they're going to just pop up with some flirty question um like hey how are you i miss you um i was thinking about you you know it is close to valentine's day so um, maybe this is brings up a memory, a memory of some sort between the two of you. Okay, so um, the Queen of Wands also wanted to come here too. I was going to lift it up, which is just showing up for you. Look at how awesome attract attraction action. You know, getting what they want. You know, it's, this is looking good and very attracted. So it's like whoever this person is, you are very, very, very attracted to this person. Let me clarify, um, let me clarify this, this near future here. Okay. I really feel like that's telling you, you know, if you, to keep an eye out, don't try and force action. Okay. Don't try and force action. It never worked in the past for you. It's not going to work now. Let's clarify the Seven of Pentacles, please. Let's clarify the Seven of Pentacles. We have the Hermit card. So really thinking about, and this is the Hermit card, Virgo energy. Virgo, this is you. All right. You, you maybe have been single for a while. You've been thinking about this for a while. And, um, you know, maybe you're starting to get frustrated and you're starting to get impatient. But the Hermit card showing up here really telling you to stay connected, stay within. And with this, right across this judgment card, it's like going within and really knowing truly what it is you, you want and what you want to manifest, which path you want to take. So I feel as though you can take this path here of trying to force this to, to happen and it's going to have a negative effect on you. Or you can choose to continue to follow your path here, which is working on whatever you're working on here with these, um, the pentacle, ten of pentacles, really focusing on this. So, you know, you don't have to let go of this desire that you want here, but really choosing here to stay focused here is going to bring an end to this conflict and this person's going to message you in. This is the path of least resistance. The path of least resistance right here. You can choose to go this way or you can choose to follow higher self. Continue to focus on your work, your money, and continue to manifest. Manifest and affirm your desires here of this person coming back around for you, this reconciliation, and you will receive messages of, of wanting to sort of end this conflict and move forward. And I'm receiving this message of when this message comes in for you, go at it lightheartedly. Go at it like it's a new situation. Don't open up old wounds here by talking about the past. Don't start the conversation with, oh, so you finally came in, or, oh, here you are, oh, and then that energy that you left the situation in. 
Don't go at it like that. If you want a complete transformation in this relationship here with the Scorpio death card, if you want a complete transformation in this relationship, when these messages come in for you and your desire here to end this conflict, flirt, be lighthearted and move forward and act as if it's, it's a whole new situation, whole new relationship, whole new opportunity, okay? Do not go back to the past. Do not open up these old wounds. Move forward, all right? So I'm gonna leave your messages there. If you wanna follow me into the extended, I'll go further and look into your person, see how they're actually feeling right now, what they're doing, what's going on in their world, what actions they, they will take towards you. And I'm going to see what messages with the um, my Twin Flame Journey messages here. I'm gonna see what messages their higher self may have for you, what they want you to know. Okay, guys? Awesome. I love you guys. Please comment down below. Let me know if the message resonates and take care.